Hello everyone, it's Angelica Blackwell here. Ooh, let me just fix the light real quick. Anyway, welcome back to Tsukihime, the piece of the glass moon. I hope everyone's having a great day today. And we'll be continuing on uh, chapter four, Fire and Blood, part one. Woo! I, my voice is a little ah uh, today, so I won't be reading any voice lines. Right, but I'll definitely still read my, um, like, the in-betweens, you know what I mean? Because, like, I don't know why. I just woke up, and my throat's like, ah, you're sick now. And I'm like, huh? But why, though? It's like, you're sick now. I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I guess I'm sick now. Yeah, life be like that. Anyway, with your uniform as my only lead, I did some sniffing around until I figured out which school you went to? That was about two hours ago? I consider waiting- oh, you read that. Dot dot dot. So that's why she was waiting outside for me. After all that agony. She must have been dying to kill me. But if that's the case. I don't get it. Oh, wait, no, no, I promise. Fair, fair, fair. That's fucked up, but understandable. But I'm alive. She also added some pretty unfortunate adjectives to her description. Oh? I mean, she has a bit of a point. Yeah. So you forgive him. We still want him to do something for you. So he's not really forgiven. I don't think I don't think that's how that works, at least. I expected her to, you know, just kill me instead. But being asked to be her shield feels like a totally different kind of comp compensation. I can't exactly pinpoint what's the difference is. But I'm damn sure I have a bad feeling about this. I can't tell- oh my gosh. And that is a fact, yes, can't confirm. Bruh. Okay, true. True. Oh, she puffs up her cheeks in anger. It's rather comical, but oddly fitting. I guess she forgot about her anger up until now. But explaining the situation is making her relive her fury. Crazy. Crazy. Ah, near shield until she's ready. Okay. Still sucks. I mean, I guess 
I mean, fair enough. I I'm trapped by our silent gaze. I'm being judged so harshly. She's so unfair. All this talk about regret, or the courses of action aside, I really rather she didn't look at me with those eyes. If you're calling yourself a monstrous vampire, you really shouldn't be going around staring people down with such pure, honest eyes. <sighs> I clamped down on the feeling, raising in my chest. I regret my actions. I want to atone for them too. Yet, my heart keeps warning me that, as a human, I should not be teaming up with this woman. Without any answer at hand, I idly raise my gaze. Huh? In that moment, I see a different pair of glowing eyes staring back at me. <laughs> My entire body tenses up again. Strength return to my overtaxed legs. I force myself up from my seated position into a crouch. The woman, fo the woman followed my gaze turn to look at what has appeared in the entrance of the alley behind her is a creature even more out of place in a human city than a vampire in front of me the woman looks perfectly calm but i'm struggling to wrap my head around the situation that's a panther i know that much even a child will be able to tell what animal it is. But you wouldn't see one outside a picture book or caged in a zoo. And somehow, here I am, experiencing just how terrifying the beast is firsthand. All without anything to protect me. It stands on four lean, powerful limbs. Muscles that seem as simple as a rubber, yet hard as steel. This form is far removed from that of a human being. This is a creature built for the sole purpose of hunting its prey. Simply seeing it awakens a primal instinct that shouldn't have been cast away in the Stone Age. We might both be living creatures, but this panther is on another league. Its superior abilities leave me breathless. It's not something I could put into words. This creature and I cannot coexist in the same world, much less communicate with one another. The Black Panther's body measure over one meter in length. Even a dog that size can easily take down a human. And here it is eyeing me and the woman in white. Vicious claws, fangs, and all, with barely five meters between us. Huh? No? no she keep me, bro. I can't help but snap back at the something so crazy. I'm an idiot. As if it takes my voice as a signal, the panther leaps in our direction. No, that's not right. It's running. But it's going so fast. I thought it had leaped at us instead. Dot dot dot. I can't do anything. The black blur's fangs will sink into my shoulder before I even have the time to process its movements. I can see it. I'm keenly aware of how this will all end one second from now. But the thought of dodging or moving away doesn't even register. But the blow comes from my side instead. 
The woman in white shows me away before the shadowy creature has the chance to bite me. An effortless swipe of her hand is all it takes. At her touch, I flung across the alley as easily as someone might throw a ball, and I go crashing into the wall. Jesus! That's a I grit my teeth as I slam into the wall back first. Pain shut up through my spine. What? Oh, BRB guys? Sorry about this.
Hello everyone. Sorry about that. My um one of my parents called like out of nowhere. Um they were just checking on me. But oh hey Buster, what's up? Okay. I will be fine. I can live. I stream two days in a row. Back to back. Consider me surprised. I stream a lot. I stream like four days back to back like every week, bro. Five this week, because I'm, since you're here, I should just tell you, I'm going to play Honkai Star Rail tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyway. Oop. Oh, what's happening? The woman shouts at me. I look up expecting the beast to have crashed into the wall behind me. Instead... Having lost sight of his target, the panther reacts instantly by springing in the air and planting its feet on the wall. From there, it leaps at the opposite wall. Jesus. Can we move that to today? Uh, no. I already made my schedule, unfortunately. Try arguing next time. The creature uh, latches itself to the side of the building. Just as it seems to have found its footing, it turns its glowing gaze at me once more. But hey, now you- Look man, I said I'll stream Honkai Star Rail for you and I'm doing it. My breath is still caught after the chaos. The panther pushes off against the wall and leaps at me like lightning falling from the sky. The woman places herself into the trajectory, deflecting the oncoming bolt with a single hand. She's even faster than the panther, her slender frame even more graceful. It's frightening, and unnerving even. I'm sorry, Buster. But it was in the schedule, man. True, true. The woman, this potion hasn't changed a bit. After hearing her threat, the panther cautiously backs away. There are around three meters of space between the two of them. The panther keeps its distance. It must recognize. Oh, it must realize the difference in their abilities during their brief flash. To a human, that panther is no doubt a monster. A beast that could easily slay any human beings. But that woman is on a whole nother level. A monster among monsters. A demon that can easily slay any monster it meets. The panther sits absolutely still as observing the woman. Even I could tell how badly outclassed it is. The woman must seem like some insurmountable wall when viewed from the eyes of the Apex Predator. If you got business with me, I'll deal with you later. So, for now... Oh, the uh, habits. The atmosphere around the woman changes. The panther hadn't rattled her in the slightest, but the very air around her seems sharper than before. <laughs> Huh? Is this a rave? Like, what's going on with their outfits? Yeah, there is no mistake about it. A group of strangers is making their way down the alley. They seem a little... unhealthy. Like, the bad unhealthy. Like, they're losing... meat on their bone. They're walking at a leisurely place through the dimly lit back street. All binding right in our direction. <laughs> Huh? I try to tell them a panther is on the loose. But all I do... Red currents flash across my vision. I rub my eyes beneath my glasses. Just now, I... There's something terrible. They keep coming. They possesses neither the fertile instincts nor the pride of the panther. They lunge forward, completely disregarding the woman in white. 
as well as the fact that another few steps towards will do them. But why would they? These creatures have no brain to think, nor a heart to feel fear. If they aren't alive, they can't be. They engulfed in flames, black smoke billowing from their eyes and mouth, and yet they keep moving forward. They're dead. They have to be. Their hands outstretched as if they were seeking salvation, but from their fingertips drink drips of thick oil. Drops of oil splash into the tongues of flames as they hit the ground. Even from this distance, I realize that the oil-like substance must be their step stagmatic blood. Jesus, what the fuck? That's nightmare fuel. That's terrifying. The woman in white focuses her attention on the things before her. The two of them, two of the three canvassers, reach for her. The last one turns in my direction. Glares at me with its burning sockets as I was standing there dumbstruck. It got me. The panther used the battle short windows to strike. <laughs> the it's even faster than the last time I leaped. This time, I didn't even recognize it moving. The panther bears its weight against me, as if it's trying to push me over and run its incinerates down my neck. <laughs> but The tightness grips my throat. There's a constriction sen sensation at the nape of my neck. It's not my skin, though the collar of my school uniform is being bitten and pulled. <laughs> Holy shit, he almost died. I push through the wall again. I'm pushed against the wall again. I've been dragged into the dark corner of the alley. The panther roughly presses me into the heap piles of garbage. That's rough, buddy. What am I even doing? I'm berating the panther as it has pinned me down. But for whatever reason, it decides not to follow through with its attack. Perhaps the beast realized it has a bigger problem to deal with. Bah. Hidden behind some of the ways, I sit up and peer over at the woman. The smoldering dead are brave enough to get within three meters of the woman. They feet even the panthers did, uh, dare not try. The moment they do... Whoa, she just clawed through them, literally. Whew. The very air wailed in agony. The burst of the wind from the woman's arm sliced through the air cur cuts through her target like a bulldozer, leaving not a trace of the three bodies. My head hurts. It feels like tiny thorns are bouncing within my eye sockets. A painful red sensation jabbing at me like knives, like it was trying to deny all I just seen. <sighs> Real wow, she's just done with this shit. With a resigned shrug of her shoulders, this woman turns to me. She doesn't look like she holds the slightest interest in the corpse she just incinerated. Huh? Why are you blaming me, bro? I'm not fucking summoning them. Mm -hmm. If you just hurried and made up your mind, you wouldn't have. Oh, wait, she read that. Ah, have it. <sighs> the woman boldly walks over to me if I sit. 
as I sit halfway stunned on the ground. The panther is long gone. It must have taken one look at the scene just now and decided it wanted none of it. That the woman was simply far too strong. Oi. Imano. Nanda. Hey, what was that? My headache is constricted behind my eyes. A oh, concentrated lit. The pain is searing through my carnium seems to be throwing off whatever part of my brain controls my speech. What the hell is that woman? Huh? Huh? Oh. Flaming corpses? Even they appear perfectly grounded when compared to her. Through a flick of her arm, this woman made a gust of wind with the power of a tornado. Such a monster couldn't coexist with us frail humans for a second. True, she did. I mean, at this day and age, we know the idea of a vampire, but uh, figuring out which vampire rule set we're dealing with, a uh, different conversation. For such a powerful monster, she's pretty dense. I can't, but if I can take advantage of this window to force strikes into my trembling limbs. That fight just now led her away from the alley's entrance. If I run with all my might, I might just have a shot at escaping. I take a deep breath. Huh? Oh, she really is not feeling great. Just as I'm about to start running, I catch a glimpse of her face. For some reason... I suddenly feel calm again. Fair enough. Oh? The way things are now, I definitely need you to access my shield. Huh? That's right. We were just talking about that nonsense. Earlier, I thought she might have been speaking metaphorically about the whole meat shield thing, but now I'm not so sure anymore. She sounds dead serious. She's act she actually wants me to act as her shield against the panther and flaming corpses. And who knows what else? I mean, he's not wrong. We were just in the corner getting fucked up. So that's not right. That's Honestly, I'm half glad that what I just saw was the last ditch effort, not something she could s shake out of her sleeves at any time. Oh, this poor boy does not know Melty. So that's not the issue here. Oh, he agreed. Which is also true. MC has not woken up yet. 
あなたは私を殺したのよ。あおそのあなたがどうしてそんな嘘を言うの殺したってあれは It was instincts. When I killed her, it was like I lost myself. I would help her if I could, but that kind of help she's asking for is way beyond anything I could do. In that case, uh, I mean, fair enough. You can. I mean, maybe. Sib. I can't help but feel myself weakened before those eyes. Well, fuck it. I can't just say no to her request. I killed her. It's my fault that she's weak enough to even seek help from some nobody like me. Besides, I might only just. You might have only just met, but I get the impression she's not a bad person. Eh, how is it? I mean, maybe. Cheeky, are you racist? Please don't look at me with those eyes. The guilt will eat me alive if you keep doing that. True. Alright, no, that I'll regret this later. But even so. Oh, hey, Lord Pop Tart, what's up? Nara, Kono Machini Sunder in Yingen Toste. My not, yeah, we're hunting vampires. It's better than turning a blind eye to her stupidly sincere gaze. So that the Tatani Narano, Okoto Aridakato. I mean, realistic. Oh my god, she is. Ah, she's too pure. There she goes again. What's with that expression? If this was a game, I'll just be called a fool. Just look at her coming back from the dead, creating tornadoes, and now this. Cool. She extends a hand to me. やっと自己紹介ができるね。うん、長い名前だからアルクエイドだけでいいわ。no, no, Arquid, your name is not that long, bro. I see people with much longer names. True ancestors are just discount. True ancestors are the origin of. You know what? I can't explain this. Arkman does a little bit, and I'll just go into that. That might be the strangest self-introduction I ever witnessed. I sigh. Either I accept my insane new reality, or I just don't have anything left in me to argue. For now. That was a neat cutscene. I take the woman's Arkwood's hand. She peers at me intently for a moment. Then offers her hand for a shake. So Thanks. <sighs> she smiles wickedly. Her hand, her left hand outstretched. I must be the first and last person in the world to be 
you're paying someone for their own murder. I'm really in it now. Oh, no, he said that. What else can I do? Against my better judgment, I shake her hands with the mysterious vampire. This woman in white. Oh, eh? Well, what's that? Wait, no! Alright, sorry guys, I can't show you this. Like, I, I'll let it play, but I can't let you guys... Can't listen to this, unfortunately, due to copyright problems, because... Fucking companies. As you can tell, it looks really cool, and I like it a lot. Hello, look at my model. It's great, right? 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, it's a little it's a little thing right now. It's fine. I'll leave a link in the description of the YouTube, but yeah, man. That's just crazy. I love you, Photobull, bro. Best in the game, am I right? If I remember, they're currently animating Demon Slayer? I think it's like the movies? Man. The face feels... Little... Yeah, it doesn't want to follow me. Weird. Okay, that's fine. Well, I hope you like Arkwood. How are you, Angie? Uh, I'm pretty fucking sick, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, I, I can't even hold you. I can't lie to you guys. Uh, I could still, like, I could still read. It's fine. I'll drink tea after this, because life. Plus, I'm having fun talking to you guys about Tsukihime, so it, it, it works itself out. I hope you feel better soon. Thanks, man. Uh, I'm just trying to drink a lot of water. Should I drop tea? I took medication before, so. Yay. Oh, wait. Forgot to turn the music back on. That's on me. A voice echoes in the darkness. The air is damp. The rotten smell lingers in the air. Uh, is eye-watering. Rancid. It's too dark to see a thing. It's driving her into a serious sensory overload. She can't remember what happened to her a few minutes ago. She can't remember where she is. She feels like she's hearing voices of men in the distance. She feels like she had come here of her own volition. If she thinks hard enough, she can remember taking an elevator. As an elevator descends, she was suddenly stuck and struck with a horrible realization that this wasn't some goofy urban legend, but a dark and dangerous truth she couldn't have she shouldn't have stuck her nose in. Part of her recalls desperately mashing the emergency stop button. Where? Where am I? Oh, she's fine. Tsukihime, let's go! Hey, Ivan. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing good. But that was then and this is now. Humans cannot turn the clock. Time arrows is asymmetrically. <sighs> One may traverse the arrow from left to right, but never the reverse. In other words, by the time the girl realized her folly, she was already in hell. <laughs> oh, dear. Fearing the dark, the girl presses her hands on the wall. Rotting juices coat her fingers. It stings of spoiled meat. It gives away to her touch. Though, through her tears, she realized it must be a human verisica. 
but she cannot bring herself to pull away. Hi, hi, I'm actually new. Saw the VOD on YouTube. Oh, cool! Oh, man, this is the first time this is happening. Ah, uh, now I'm blushing. Anyway, her fingers must trace his to find her way forward. There is no other way to navigate this darkness. Oh, that's... Oh, this is gross. She can't escape the steady footsteps that has been following her for some time now. I feel so bad, but her voice acting's on point, though. She has no choice but to follow the path. Her expression distraught as her fingernails scrape through the slimy gunk. <laughs> With every step, she hears, she swears she hears the metallic cries of something grinding and twisting across itself within the walls. Ooh. <laughs> Is that a child? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. This this ain't even Halloween. It's hard to believe the screams that could come from another human being. The whales was so desperate that they might erupt rupture their throat and lungs, yet these people have long shed any concerns and, and now simply howl into the abyss. This day is gonna be really cool. Oh my goodness. But there's a little that can be done about their bodies now. Huh? Limbless. They're suspended from the ceiling like a mass of bag worms. What the fuck? Huh? She ignores the pleas of those who are beyond saving who continue to run. She just needs a light. Any light. If she had a light, she could escape. There's a goal you have to reach. That's what the man who guided her down here had to had told her. They laughed when they said it. There has to be an exit. She believed that it's the only way she could save herself. She knows it's a lie, but she needs to cling to hope if she's to maintain any semblance of sanity. <laughs> she looks behind her. That's right. She's all, she knows she's not alone here. She came here together with her boyfriend. That idiot was the one who suggested it. It's because of him that she agreed to it. It might be fun to try. It's all his fault. She hopes he dies. She hopes he dies. She hopes he dies she, before she does. She hopes he dies might lead to her escape. She hopes she'll be the only one saved. She's the special one after all. She didn't do anything wrong. There's no reason she should be suffering. This should be reserved for those who are stupider than her. These are the dirtier than her. Or those who are luckier and more blessed. This has nothing to do with her. She's always been good. She lived a normal life. She's always been normal. This mis misfortune should fall upon someone else. <laughs> the faint darkness, uh, a blackness dark and deep, takes hold. The girl, standing in the middle of it all. Stare down to her burning body. What the fuck? How long was she on fire for? The appendages she used to feel her way along the walls have all burned the way down to her elbows. Her arms are gone, Jesus. When she frankly looks at her body. She realizes her clothes has been burned away. Her skin has turned black and charred, cracking to reveal the new sheen and organs hidden beneath. 
The fat of her flesh sizzles and burns with a flame of red and hot, enough to captivate her gaze. Thank goodness, the woman thinks, laughing to herself. Finally. I finally found the light. She's burning. She crackles. A flaming anatomical model has taken with madness. A torch of flesh providing light in the darkness. Then... A sharp stab puts her out her misery. Holy shit. Her body burns as boiling blood spew from the wood. As if savoring the warmth of her blood, it drinks her fresh blood. Jesus. This hell returns to total darkness. Heaven finishes its minuscule meal. It crosses through the masterless hellscape. Beneath it are countless corpses. A river of flame, indiscriminately swallowing all those who wander in the wasteland, wherever they be lost humans or the cemetery dead residents. Kukuasamui. Oh? Breath spills from its lips like smoke. It shambled towards the surface, leaving behind a trail of red in its wake, like a twisted slug. Oh shit. Apologies. It caves the prey that its footman discovered mere moments ago. So, he a Arquid hater. Understandable. Whoa, she just has wine in her house. I mean, yeah, it's luxurious. I have no words for how this day has turned out. Pretty weird, man. It's pretty weird. Oh, she wanted an advantage point, so that's why she picked the hotel. I mean, it makes sense. And here we are. Arkwit hailed a taxi on the main street, and we drove over to one of the neighboring city's districts. From there, we didn't just book a room from of one of the most prominent and exclusive hotels. No, Arkwit decided to book the entire top floor just for us. I feel also like some A-list celebrity. Whoa, look at how high we are. I mean, thanks. I think you're right about that. She's really cheery. Arguid happily perks peeks through the shut curtains at the paranma below. I can't say that I'm as excited as she is. This place feels less like a hotel room and more like a standalone cathedral that happens to be built on the hotel's top floor. Super sugar mommy arquid, oh a hundred percent. From the sun blocking curtains to the future, to the materials of the walls and doors, every last bit is grander than anything you normally encounter. Since we rented out the entire floor, we won't 
be seeing any other guests. Upon closer inspection, I noticed that there's even a TV screen that displays an actual inactive fee of the first floor lobby. Huh? No matter where I looked, I'm reminded that this room is reserved only for the most privileged of people. Wow, you are right. She is just a sugar mama. Arkwood speaks cheerfully as she steps away from the window. As amazed as she seems by the window a few moments ago, it appears she is already grown tired of the bird eye view of the city. Oh. As exhausted sigh slips out of me. Okay. I pause before I finish my sentence. I'm only here to watch over this self proclaimed vampire while she sleeps. I shouldn't say anything that might complicate it even further. We sound like a cat. I don't know what else to describe that. She makes us sound like we're a cat. Arkwood chuckles as if something hilarious about the situation. Meanwhile, I'm standing near the door, muscles tense as I keep a watchful eye on the room. Watching her relax, I realize we couldn't be more opposite from one another right now. Fatigue has spread through every inch of my body. I wish I could just rest, but I also know that the second I take off, take a seat on that sofa, I'll doze off. No matter how tired I get, I know better than to let my guard down now. Oh? You wanna list any? Silence? Oh, okay. Okay, Shiki, you a bub. Alright. A carefree voice calls out to me from the minibar. Needless to say, the bottles that Urquid hold up are filled with alcohol. I stopped. I have no clue if she's over the legal drinking age or not. And I particularly care to I don't care to find out either. No matter how exhausted I am, no matter how confusing the situation might be, there are some questions I have to ask her. I need to know what she is. I need to know how much danger I'm in. How much I fucked up. I can't even afford to sit on the couch. If I don't at least attempt to understand all the weird things happening here. That's it. I want for now, there are some things I like to ask you. Oh. Do you realize? Ha oh wait, no, he probably said that. What <laughs> I mean, elaborate, hun. Cool. But I like some names. I believe you're a vampire. But I don't believe... You hurt my brain, Arkwood. You hurt my brain. I can't have this in my house. Sounds like you hate yourself. Oh? Look at you being a gentleman. Oh, 
前が殺すのはそのそれでも式の言いたいことはわかるわ。同じ種族同士、助け合うべきだって言うんでしょ Yeah, I guess. れ異なる進化を遂げた勇士のようなものだから。OK。人間っていうところの仲間意識は希薄なのよ。I, I don't know these words. So, Omega Saga Stater, Kukitskiwa, Omaitoa, she got the Yunoka. Eh, but I still have a question of Kukitsu. But I see how I cut the Yunoka, Ningen no Kukitski the Kara, another that's got Yaku image to hobo. Okay, so there you could be bored of vampires, that's what she's implying. Ningen no Chioste, Suiko. Fair. The living dead. Okay, I understand. Fair enough. The corpse I saw in that alley. In the stories, it says those. Who get their blood sucked by a vampire get turned into one as well, attacking other humans in turn. That's how they can propagate and spread. If this goes unchecked, then a whole town can be turned into a stronghold for the living dead. Oh, um, thanks? Arkwood states the, the words matter of factly. I guess there really are kinds of vamp all kinds of vampires out there. I'm going to Fair question, Shiki. I'm with you on that. Wow, what the fuck, Arkwe? That's kind of fucked up. Uh, thanks? She was planning to take me by force? I don't like those words. Those words are weird. But, don't think I'll be forgetting about that. Please elaborate, because you're sending me so many mixed messages. Oh, the church? Bruh, the church are real. Oh my god, the church are real. Oh my god. I mean, fair thought. Yeah, you gotta start all the way from the beginning with me, sis. Your good Wait, is that uh, is that Kodomai reference from from Fate? Holy shit, I'm I'm too much of a fucking nerd for this series.
Uh, okay, that's cool. She managed to stay such a terrifying thing, and the cheeriest of voices. Shit, she definitely hasn't forgotten what I did to her. I certainly deserve to be despised for murdering her, but it's still bad for my heart to hear her talk so lightly about killing in return. Maybe she really does intend to kill me the second I let my guard down. Oh, um, sure. Night. Okay. Oh. しきも今のうちに休んでおいた方がいいよ。吸血鬼は昼間活動できないから、本格的に見張りをしてもらうのは夜になるんだし。ペアナフ。お前、今自分の存在を全面否定するようなことを言ったって分かってるか。I、I guess you were Shiki's coming. わたしはいいの。私はいいの。それじゃあお休みなさいしき。日が沈んだら起こしてね。Fair falls asleep so abruptly, it's as if someone turned off a car engine. Jesus, she's knocked the fuck out. マジか。I can hardly believe it, but she's actually asleep. I feel like an idiot for staying next to the door this whole time in case I needed to run. Is this okay? I mean, I'm the one to talk, but she's really okay with this? I practically take in here against my will, but now I could just easily run away. Don't tell me she's forgotten. If I, even if I don't feel the same impulse now. I mean, she can cook it. He did kill her once before. So, yeah. How can she just doze off like that with me around? Dot, dot, dot. I watch her while she sleeps. Peering closely, I notice the slow rise and fall of her chest as she breathes. But other than that, she doesn't move a muscle. It's like I'm looking at a painting. The lids of her eyes are closed in a peaceful rest. Her eyelashes are long, and her lips are luscious, even without the slightest touch of lipstick. Yo, Shiki, why are you watching her sleep, bro? Why are you just in there? Like, at least back the fuck up a bit. I trace the curves of her plump chest with my op. I hate Shiki. I hate Shiki Toto. Shiki Toto, I I'm gonna be one of his ops. I can't. Following the line until I meet the flat of her hips, like a hill meeting the horizon. Shiki is down horrendous. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, I look, I'm a woman. I identify as a woman at least, right? So reading this, I'm like, huh? I better I better hear some horny shit about a guy later. That's all I gotta say. Her arms are long and slender. She looks innocent, yet sensual at all at once. A contradiction I struggle to make sense of. The perfect self-interest for the Tsukihime community. <laughs> I mean, he has more of a personality now in the remake, I think? I don't know, she, Shiki has always been a weird guy. Extra weird, from what I remember. And if I... We're gonna get to a scene where I just feel very uncomfortable about blah, blah, and all. It's like... It's horror. This is low-key a horror visual novel. <sighs> Here she is. Vortables slumbering away in the Hotel Royal Suite. Trusting me. The person who killed her. To be in the same room with her. Despite us only just meeting. 
Oh, a hundred percent cheeky. She's so ridiculously trusting and honest, I'm frankly a little worried about her. Either way, this is the time to choose. This might be my last chance to turn back. The woman told me to be her shield, but... Nah. Back, straight, back. Alright, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Um... I know... Yeah, the flowchart. What my flowchart looking? Pretty fucking boring. That's what my flowchart is looking. Pretty goddamn boring. Mm, fair enough. Alright, guys. Should we leave? Or should we, like, head out? I'll give you guys a chance to, like, argue with me for once. You know what I mean? I'm feeling like we should just help her because that's what the plot's saying. And I don't know if I have, like, the heart to just be like, nah, fuck this shit. I don't know. Huh. I think, I think I'm done hesitating. That's what I'm feeling. Dang, ads. Oh no, you can't see me. That's rough, buddy. Uh, I guess I'll... How's everyone's day? Cause my day could do better. Right now I'm watching something called The Beef, and I'm on season 3. So, a little spoiler, right? Uh, I'm watching the main character just lose his goddamn marbles. And it feels very awkward seeing it because I've been there. I have friends who've been there. And it's not that great, honestly. Hello, I hope you're back from the ads now. So, I was saying that I'm feeling choice two, right? Hello, welcome back to the land of the living. Um, choice one is pretty funny. Honestly, this is the normal person reaction, but this is the Natsu verse. So, I I'm thinking choice two is what we gotta do. Sadly, nothing bad will happen if we leave. You see, I'm gonna take that and run. Let's leave. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright, then. Don't mind me. I can't- s I still can't shake my desire to leave. Live in the normal world. I feel a sense of responsibility for killing Arquid, of course. But that doesn't mean I have to accept every restriction she imposes on me. She's still sleeping peacefully, utterly at ease in the presence of the person who murdered her. I just don't understand why she, what she sees in me. There's no reason for me to be here. What do I even have to offer? If I'm ever going to go back to my everyday life, Now's the time. The hallway is quiet. As a grave. Arquid booked out the entire floor, so the two of us were the only ones here. Lingering doubts swirled in my mind. Mm-hmm. I shake off and press the elevator button. <sighs> Excuse me. Back in the city. I take the train back into town. It's just past noon. I could head to school, although I won't get there until fifth period if I'm lucky. Or I could go home and crawl on my bed and forget any of this ever happened. But I can't summon the will to go back to the mansion. I decided to go to the park and clear my mind a little. Don't be like Cheeky Toto, kids, because he's goofy. I swear, if I ever catch you acting like this, it's on site. <sighs> Second option is so relatable. <laughs> I had I heave an exhaustive sigh. I sit down on the bench and stare aimlessly at the sky. 
It's gray as far as though I can see. The lead man clouds reflect my own inner landscape. I wonder if she's still sleeping. I never doubting that I'll be there when she awakes. I murdered her, and yet she forgave me. She forgave me, so what am I doing here, sitting on the park bench, staring up at nothing? <sighs> but at the end of the day, I don't want to die. No matter how strong I might feel in the moment, the that's a barrier I can never overcome. Your power is yours alone, but that's why you mustn't forget. Master words from a long time ago spring unbinded to mine. What exactly did she tell me again? <laughs> I still have time. The sun hasn't sunk below the horizon. If I could get back to the hotel before it sets, I could start over. Oh, this sounds like a bad choice. Honestly, the self-insert between Tsukihime and FGO comes down to would you rather, who would you rather die to? Uh, look, FGO allows you to play a girl. That's my argument. If I die, I'm gonna die as the cute girl. <laughs> <sighs> I can't rid myself of these doubts. In the end, I decided to. Okay, guys. So, we get to go back to the mansion. Or we can go back to the hotel with Arquit. The game is giving me go back to the hotel vibes. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we're going. Ben sounds good. Yo, you are. <laughs> Absolute suffering. That's what I'm getting. Okay, hold on. Can I make notes? Cause that'll be great. No, I can't. I remember Fate, uh, like the actual OG game, where um, let's see here. That's delete. Confirm, navigate, scroll. Nah, go to the mansion. It probably has an Xbox. Okay, so far I have two go back to the the mansions, right? Kohaku Gaming. Oh man, you actually are a fan fan. Okay. So, alright guys. I feel like there's two go back to the mansions, right? And since no one else wants to go back and fulfill a promise to the waifu, I will judge you in silence. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna prioritize my own life. I recall yesterday's bloodbath. Back when the air was rich with the smell of death and blood. I don't want to see such a scene ever again. If I stick around Arkwood, it's all but inevitable that I'll be exposed to that kind of thing again. If I don't want that to happen, I should return safely to the mansion. There's just one big flaw in my decision. I'm well aware that... If it is, I'm very conscious that this is wrong of me as a person. I forced this thoughts out. I'm not running away. That's what I keep telling myself as I head on home. Simply just reschedule and if that doesn't work, await death. I don't want to die, bro. The fuck? Night will fall and all this weird stuff would be resolved somewhere far away from me. Huh? A child? Oh, it's that rude little shit from before! Ah! Is it just me? As I'm just about to get back up from the bench, a voice calls out from behind me. Wow, we look so sad and miserable that the kid's like, Yo, you okay? I think the girl I never, I never seen before. Yet she somehow strikes me as oddly familiar. I wager she's a middle schooler, but she's not wearing a uniform. Looks like I'm not the only one skipping school today. 
顔を粘土みたいな色してます人って死ぬ時はそう Oh my guys I hate you I'm never listening to you Bro we're dying What the fuck Why do you Why did that kid just walk up and said you're gonna die Huh She's trying to crack a joke It's not a very good one I can't even grace her response with a laugh and the girl doesn't look like does it look all phased by my silent consternation I'm not oh she did I know teacher so not call you look at a sanji come on start a cookie to match up Wow the girl doesn't even get closer to this she neatly observes from a meter of a distance between the two of us なら携帯貸してください。私のは使いたくないんで。I mean fair. I love a sigh of relief at her unexpected offer. Stay back, child. I have a knife in one pocket and a primordial vampire close by. What primordial vampire? Bitch, you left her at the hotel. Why are you out here pretending she's your waifu? Nah, fake fans, fake fans. But as I'm suddenly brought back into normalcy, I started feeling better. My breath stabilizes. Yeah, it's fine. I don't need to. I don't need you to. Oh, wait, no. But I'm speaking. Do 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 do. So sad. Yeah, I'm here. Fair enough. Knowing Shiki, probably. Look, her identity is simply convenient. I can take what I get. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The girl looked like she was ready to leave, but then she followed up with a strange question. There's a real neat theory about this girl, but that can't wait to let her on. You better tell me before you leave. That's my response to that. Hmm. 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 Fills me with sadness. After you see a certain cutscene, that's missable. Fair enough. This is like the third time we're running into this kid. The the vending machine, the train, and now the park. The girl leaves. For whatever reason, when I watch her leave, I got the impression that she was actually in poor health, poorer health than I am. Huh. Interesting. I wonder why. Also, me, I look some more time to rest up in the park before heading home. Shiki, you're a retard. The sun is nowhere to be found. The streets are. Already surrounded in dark. Shiki, you're a dumbass. Why the fuck did you leave at night? You should have left when there was still light out. It's already after seven. Shiki, if we die, it's your fault. I blame Shiki for our death because he's stupid. Please don't tell me Shiki's about to walk into the FBI route where we could go. Can we go back to the vampire? I don't know. Y'all wanted to walk away from the vampire. <sighs> the gates to the mansion will close at 8. I sure hurry if I don't want to receive a scolding from Akia. Mm-hmm. 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 As usual, there's no one in the road surrounding the mansion. The sun has only just set, but it's so quiet. you think it was well past midnight. The hospital scene in a prologue is kind of sus because the window CGI's were different between the time he first woke up and the second time he woke up. True. 
This is where I went the night when the dog was keeping me awake. <gasps> A lump of blackened meat dropped down in front of my eyes. What the fuck? My blood runs cold. Why are they here? Filters through my mind. Isn't it obvious? Falls at its heels. Arkiv wasn't the only one they saw back in the alley. There was human with her too. Me. He didn't immediately wake up with the mystic eyes like Oji. True, true. It took him a hot second to get his mystic eyes. Oh my god, I, so I tried so hard to ignore the obvious truth. Inflicted instincts finally catch up and I reach for my knife. I back away, keeping my eyes on the dead as they emerge from the forest at the edge of the fucking road, cheeky. Then. Back street, back so right do, 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 do. Everything's fucking burning and we're dying. That's strange. Suddenly, everything around me is turning bright red. They're screaming. It sounds like it's coming somewhere nearby. My blood, my body jerks and writhes in pain. Like a wound, a wound up spring set loose. Last night barbecue. Can we possibly bat missing Lark with No! God damn it! Y'all walked away from her! This is why I can't trust chat no more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm getting gassed. Alright. I keep twitching and squirming. My consciousness, my body, my vision, my world. All of it flashes in and out of view. Like an ambulance, emergency lights. Screaming, screaming, so much screaming. It's like the sound is coming from my own mouth. I'm not trusting y'all with decisions ever again, bro. Y'all led us to our first dead end. I cannot believe this. I dropped onto the ground with a thud. I can't move with my limbs. They're not in any state to be moved. All that remains is the pain that sears through my eyeballs. Who the fuck was that guy with the boots? Worthless. Unfit to even be a guard dog. The low voice sounds muffled. Pools of grease makes popping noises on the heated ash halt. Yet... Even until his final moment, Shiki Toto never realized the sound came from his own oozing pill. Oh, that's gross. Wow. I'm never trusting y'all. Y'all out here gaslighting me into my own death. Teach me, Miss CL. The segment has been created solely for the purpose of assisting trouble players. And bears no relation to the actual persons or Tsukihime characters. Please be advised, this might be diverged subsequently in tone from the main story. Eh, fuck it, sure. So, uh, I, I forgot there was Teach Me CL segments, so we beat- No, you did it! You did not beat the game! Oh my god. Ah, you know, I'll allow this. I forgot Teach Me CL segments were a thing in this game. <sighs> I guess bad ends aren't that great, aren't that bad. There is a silver lining, yeah. It's Cell in her teacher outfit, that is the silver lining. Hello there, did the sudden dead end surprise you? Nah, nah. Alright chat, clean your ears, this is for you bro, not for me. Mm-hmm. 18 years old, sus. We died instead of going to the FBI route. Deco Arc! Yeah. 
Sorry, I can't... Can I do the neck work voice? I'm not even sure about that. <sighs> true, true. ネコワール。ゆう、こういう大人のコーナーを初めて行かい。あんた一回だから初めてだろうけど落ち着けよ。うん。Okay. Huh? Is that us? So the human touch is a rock swimming. Not the fantastic. Ah, fantastic. Um, I forgot. Uh, Blade. It's the dude from Fantastic Four. I get the joke. Why did you get this kind of thing, Shiel? In this city, you can't even get in trouble. Maybe. Maybe. That's of course. Mokinikisaletanomi,トイレ。あんな脳天。やっぱ、プリマン。よしもちは痛いほど分かりますが、ここはぐっと我慢の子。まあ、それで閉まったとはいえ、当の子。よ、リスナー。会社なのです。I hope so. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh my god, we are dead dead. Jesus, that's the plushie. But what if leaving and coming back means our affection points with Ark would take it? That's a good question. <laughs> No matter what you do, that vampire will still like you. Oh, that is terrifying. We fucking left her. I mean, it's her route. She'll be fine. You know, there's something great when she gets all desperate. I can't get enough. True, I like Yandere Arkwit. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god, Sal, you took that personally. <laughs> to her, you did. All right, bye guys. Thanks for telling my chat that that, that, that they messed up. Okay. <sighs> Continue. All right. Good thing I saved. So let's go back to the hotel. Red Arc fight is gonna be absolutely nuts. Not in this route. Not in this route. Uh, we saw the opening for Arkwood's route, so we know for a fact we're in her route. I had my doubts, but I remember what Master said. Sip for the vampire until it's done. What? Alright. <sighs> I'm not asking you to be a saint. Just do what you think is right. Well, a part of me is questioning my own sanity. I can't bring myself to betray Arkwood's trust. She might not be human, but she still has faith in me. She forgave- <laughs> Sorry. She forgave an unforgivable sin without a second thought. Next to that, my life in a small price to pay. I'll be ashamed for not- Uh, not to offer it in return. Baka <laughs> Because you're Shiki Toto. Being stupid is part of your gimmick. I slap my cheek to clear my head. I'll stand up from the bench. I'm not going back to school nor to Tonal Mansion. I set off 
at a, at a run towards the hotel, not once looking back. The last of the sun is slipping beneath the horizon as I reach the hotel room. I slip inside, tiptoeing to avoid detection. As long as I made it before Arkwood wakes up, she'll be none the wiser. Uh, well, fuck us, chat. Unfortunately, she both awakened and absolutely furious. Oh, fuck, we're dead. We're dead! No! No! Crap. I'm dead, Mademoiselle Vampire. Well, it truly has no fury. I have seen firsthand exactly what Arqua can do to her enemies. I shudder to imagine what she'll do to someone who abandoned her, but I did come back. I'll be lucky if the hotel is still standing once she's done. Mm-hmm. I pivot into a full excuse mode. It's probably far too late for that, but dying for the lack of trying would be even worse than running away. I brace myself for the worse. How? You were fucking napping! You were out like a light! Huh? This isn't quite the apocalyptic reckoning I imagine. Oh, thank god it wasn't- it wasn't as bad as- Okay, we're in a safe zone. She's definitely mad. But it's not because she realized I betrayed her. <sighs> Finally, I get it. She's not angry about the fact that I wasn't here. The notion that I might have imme immediately run away hasn't even crossed her mind. Rather, Arkwood has worked herself up into a rage purely out of concern that I might be in danger. Arkwood is too good for us, bro. We got a whole dead end, bro. Because we didn't trust our girl. Alright, a wave of shame hits me as I realize how close I came to breaking her heart. A little bit, but not as much as you want me to. Bleh. I bow at every last ounce of sincerity in my body. もしかして破滅願望でもあるの文から殺されに行くとか私を怒らせるとかそういうことなら規定状態と霊気状態を今まで繰り返す人間の言葉じゃ表現できないぐらいの極限空間に立たれるのでしょうかクワンタムステイツ
Dark. It, oh my god, it just hit her like a train. Ah, no! Sorry about that. Apologies. Arquid falls silent. Apparently only just realized that she rooming with her murderer. I suppose you're right. For some reason, I guess I started trusting you completely after our little talk. Well, it's not like she has any bad intentions. Fair enough. Uh, I guess? Easier said than done. If something like that panther shows up again, I'm not sure I'll be able to deal with it. I'm way out of my league here. I can't exactly do my job as a bodyguard without knowing what I'm up what I'm against first. It might be best if I continue where I left off last time. Panthers and burning zombies aside, I still know pretty much nothing about Arquid or who she's hunting. Oh, hey, what's up? Ah, uh, it is education time with Arquid. Yay. I'm here too if you guys need me to explain anything extra besides what Arquid's explaining. I know too much of the lore for my own sanity, honestly. And it concerns me. Oh. 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 Oh, okay. A family reunion at the park while watching. What? My brother, sister, whatever you want to be called. Okay, I've been there. I have been in a family reunion like all like last month. It was boring. It was really boring, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. I busted out my Switch and I just started playing fucking Tetris. Like, minding my own fucking business. Ah, Arquid's enemy is a serial killer that's been terrorizing this town. Another vampire. From the sounds of it, the vampire is after Arquid as well. I'm watching a stream while eating popcorn. It's cold out here right now. Yeah, I mean where I am, right? It's like going in the fall, so I can definitely believe that. Arquid, oh. Though they don't seem to be on the level playing field right now, Arquid is still pretty... Extremely weak. But yeah, popcorn sounds really good. I actually gotta pop some after No, I need tea. Damn it. I'll I'll eat popcorn after my tea. I'll just Google it how to make it. Anyway, Arquid pouts and puts her shoulders up in a hump. She isn't refuting. That means she really is alone. I guess that makes it easier for me. Oh my さききゅうけつきはそれぞれ個体差があるって言ってたけどこれはそういう話なんだろうじゃあ、please it doesn't feel like she's that used to conversation. Mm, fair, fair. I guess. Yeah, yeah, no need to thank me. Just let me know what's going on. Arquid not nods earnestly. 
仲間がたくさんいると言っても何パターンかあるんだけどこの町に潜んでいる人は古いタイプの吸血鬼だ。OK。Dead Apostles? Castellan? Okay. この上司は、あや町を犯していくわ。Okay, they're fully autonomous. Can create children from humans by drinking their blood or otherwise corrupt them. まて進行一。Let's look at their first stage of their invasion. 能力的に優れた人間を見つくろって、その血を吸ってしもべにする。Ah, okay. This is making sense. Barely. Okay. Nightmares and Night King are like their puppets. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. They don't want to make children the other classic way. I mean, they could if they wanted to. Right off the bat, there's a bunch of stuff I don't understand. But at least my mind is feeling a lot clearer after that nap. What nap? I just gotta to skip past all the terminology I don't understand and go straight to the few words I did. Okay. Okay, they're close, but not there. Please. Like, there's a tier lower? Is that what I'm getting? Okay, ghouls. Okay, there were ghouls. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, so they're sleeping? I get that, yeah. Okay, so Fair enough. Fair。Mm, I guess I understand that. Yeah, sorry, my brain's just comprehending the Natsu bullshit along with y'all. Ha-ha-ha, very funny, Arkwood. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. The four eye slasher, watch out. Cute. Naruhodo. Toriaz Hanashiwa Mietikita. Kono Machinua. Ningen o Kuimonisir Baki. Arukuedo, a soreo taiji shinikita. Kero, so it's no Ibasho. Oreni yarare chimate. Pretty much. I think he held it right on the net. That's a good summary, honestly. Please elaborate. Yeah, let's put all the servants. Elaborate, please. They're weak. どれほどの超抜能力だ。どれほどのライフスケールを持った吸血鬼でも一人では生きられない。Oh. Oh. Just having servants makes it better. Understandable. Being a vampire sucks. Kino さい大の弱点はそうね。I Noted. Whoa, is that church? Holy shit, it's amazing. Well, true. Well, I mean, thank God they're doing that. God, I don't want to live in a world full of vampires. That shit sucks. ハンターさんバイザーチャーチ。サウンドライクザインクイジションアンドザウィッチハッツオブザミドルエイジズ。イマスビインクレディブリースペシャライズ、スペシャライズトゥイヴン。トゥメイクイヴァンパイアスハイ
<笑>全部本当だってわかる。お前、嘘とかつけないだろ。当たり前じゃない。その必要性がないんだ。だから、俺はお前が信じられないじゃなくて、吸血鬼ってものがわからないんだよ。気軽に吸血鬼、吸血
吸血鬼になった者は不完全ながらも不老不死の肉体を手に入れて人間のカテゴリーから外されるの。Super strong, scary. What's the difference between drinking human blood and drinks people's blood? So we got true ancestors, which are naturally born vampires, as well as the apostles, which are humans who turn vampires. I can't quite put my finger on it. Something about the story seems fundamentally off to me. No, elaborate. Please. I just don't have the image of a vampire. I hate the vampires that can turn into mist, bro. Those motherfuckers are the bane of my existence. Annoying little shits. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so I don't know what this means. Okay, there more immortality is assured in his blood. But it's not a blood that is burning like a fire, and it keeps its energy constantly burning. Fair. If you don't have any kind of thing, you can't work with any kind of food. So, you can't work with any kind of food. So, I mean, fair enough. We are their cattle. I can surprisingly cope with that idea. もともとは人間だったから、不老不死の肉体というのは無理があるのよ。彼らの肉体を構成する遺伝子は長生きすればするほど力をつければつけるほど原子の増大に耐えられなくなる。This is just a pyramid scheme! Vampires are just a fucking pyramid scheme! Holy shit! Oh my god! Sorry, this is just this is just hitting me. Holy shit. Fair enough. Oh my god. I'm ha I need to tell my vampire friend about this. Oh, not my friend. My friend that really likes vampires. We all have that one person, bro. I'm about to tell them their whole... Their whole... They, they like a pyramid scheme, bro. I mean... Fair? Well, this shit sucks. No wonder they're evil. They're fucking pyramid scheme masters. Well, being the middleman sucks. Yeah, this explanation makes my head spin. <sighs> With both his complexity and length. I'm not following this at all, but Arqua carries right along. Mystic eyes. Ah, we're back on this shit. That's cool. Shikosei no Maruk Hoshitsu Kino, 
Laser beam. That's funny. That would be metal. I'm not even gonna hold you. Boo, you suck. I'm relieved and also a bit disappointed. A hundred percent cheeky. Magante <sighs> A specialized technique. Yeah. Wait. Don't we have those? Misfortune. Interesting. Join the pyramid scheme. And get some Tupperware. Oh my god, you're so right, bro. You're so right for that. Fair enough. ミワクの魔眼は見た相手をミワクするんじゃなくて吸血鬼の目を見てしまった相手をミワクするのああ Rose be like if you okay if you know that name you know if you don't don't fuck that bitch just all you need to know fuck Rita Rose Huh, that sounds like hypnotizing or brainwashing. You could go up to someone, tell them to forget everything they saw. With a power like that, you could cover up any murder, even if there were witnesses at the scene. True. Fair enough. Good enough. Miss Forbes is so fucking cracked. No one can tell me anything. を拡散させて現象になるという離れ技。これが後半一括長時間できる人は例えるほど近いない。これ Ah, uh, they created a body. Okay. That's fine. That makes more sense. It's just clothes. Wow. Yeah, the high level ones? Fuck them. Fuck them. Anyway, uh huh. Uh huh. Shadow Clone Jutsu. Oh, 100%. So she actually knows about Kejimisha? I don't know what the fuck that is. She might be a vampire from some foreign country, but she is surprisingly knowledgeable about Japanese culture. I- my ignorance is kicking the fuck in right now. Ah, okay. Fair enough.
人たちは命の部屋として古い獣を一匹ぐらいは体に取り込んでいる。OK。けどそれが限界。あんまり多く取り込むと、今度は吸血鬼の自我が獣と。使徒の中でも複数の獣を使い魔にしているやつは一人だけ。そいつももう消えたけど。Only one dead apostle has been known to use multiple beasts as familiars. He's long gone, though. Nate killed Nero Chaos! No! If you know who Nero Chaos is, then you're screaming with me, bro. This shit, miserable. I can't believe they said he's fucking gone. Boo! I want Nero and fucking Illumina! Cringe! Powerful beasts such as dog. Look, I'm so upset right now. You don't understand. Nero's fucking dead, bro. I'm in shambles. Like, actual fucking shambles. I'm in shambles. I'm in shambles. We can't have good shit no more. Rambo na matome da kedo. Tonikaku hito no katachi o shita. Hito to onaji. Kyuketsuki to yobu no. Ah fuck. Sono nakami ga dore da ke ibutsu demo. Gihon keitai ga hito nara kyuketsuki to. I guess. Cool. I hate them. True. Uh, I mean, sure. Okay. 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 Ah, the real question. What kind of weapon did you use? Rune and Kabara was not used Damn, she is mad. Yeah, that's true. I wonder if the model Arquid is based off of has to save us too. Ah, oh, you saw about the Canadian model too, right? Right? She's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I love that model. I can't believe she has kids and a husband. That shit's wild. That shit was so long ago. Yeah, she's really beautiful. Probably. Oh no, not an angry cat. They're the most menacing thing in the world. Arkwick glares at me like an angry cat, but no matter how she looks at me, it's not like I have anything to hide. Oh, fuck. Wait, I do. Arkwe keeps glaring at me. The only way to resolve this is by confessing the truth. Describing the mystic guys of death perception. They're so fucking cracked. I love them. I respect Atsu for writing shit like this. 
That exactly what I was expecting. There's no way she'll believe that. No one ever does. That's just the way it's always been. Oh. Arcus responds with total seriousness. だから、物の切れる線が見えるんだよ。I mean, fair enough. Is, is she- oh, is she tweaking? A chill run down to my spine. Same here. Her gaze is intense, enough to bring my breathing to a halt. I don't know what I'm あなたみたいな突然変異のバカ。化け物はバカ。物の死を見る魔感なんて私たちでさえ保有しているものはいないんだから。なんだって言うの。以前事故で死にかけた。線が見えるようになったのはその。Fair The end of all things, the never future of creation. All this time, I didn't see it. I did everything I could not to. I mean, yeah, they gave you physical headaches and you were tweaking, bro. You just stared at them for long periods of time. I, I understand why. Uh oh? とにかく果てという。地は到来するものではなく、誕生した瞬間に内包していて、いつか発現するものよ。それが原因と結果。原子の流動、エネルギーの約束ごと。たった一つの例外、ほんの小さな町が。Fair. Hmm. The universal class would disappear like a bubble being a pop. Jesus Christ, Arquit. Chill. No way. I mean, she's bringing the universe into this. How is that relevant? Kento Chigai. 
Wow. Uh, I didn't... That just feels a little too much for me, Jesus. That's rough. Hmm. I thought I was just seeing the, the, the absolute future. Oh. Oh. Arkwood speaks a detached, matter-of-fact voice. She doesn't know anything about me, so I wish she wouldn't joke around. I understand what she's saying, but that doesn't mean I have to agree of any of it. True. Okay. あゆる外的要因を無効化するものが相手でもまず殺す。殺された相手はその状態になるんでしょうね。God, Arquid, you make my brain hurt sometimes. I love you, Arquid. God damn it. Damn, the Grim Reaper. Neat. Oh, ever since that day, I bore witness to a dying world. I've been forced to know everything I could see would crumble in a mere moment. At this time, Omen of Death have been with me every step of the way. I could kill you, too. I could kill anyone, anything. I'm dangerous, aren't I? <laughs> Huh? Okay. Hora, I kara honki ni natte mite. Oh, moshikoshite sono megane de mienai yoni shite no? True, true. In this particular thing, really, I never taken my glasses off in front of someone before. I still raise my hand to remove them. All of our quits assumptions must have put me on edge. Urged by my own frustration, I take off my glasses off. Blip blip blip. Lines start to squirm. And stretch across the room. My world is filled with death. <laughs> I witness a miracle. I can hardly believe it. 
The moon shells a pearl white. The lines that have been so faint during the daytime appears to almost glow under the moonlight. But in the middle of it all, the lines on Arqua's body are so faint that I couldn't if I weren't concentrating, I wouldn't be able to notice them. So Holy shit, I barely see the lines. I see like one. Yeah, it's just like one going across a um, shoulder chest in a diagonal manner. Uh, cool. Barely.夜は死なない私だけど、昼間は多少の指揮ができてしまう。その弱点を疲れて私はあなたに殺された。あの時は大仕事の後だったし、即死体制も落ちてたしね。I Nah, I'll fucking do it. You, you tell- uh, Look, if I was a Shiki position, I'll be like, fucking bet? I wonder if I could. I, I will fucking try, bro. You're talking mad shit for somebody that cutting distance. If there's a line, I could cut it. Hey, he said the Shiki Ryogi line! But I'm looking at her now. I'm not sure if I could slice through her easily as I did in a, in a fraction of a second. やりにくいと思う。線が見えたり見えなかったりするから歩く程度が眠ってでもいない限り。True。でしょ。最大の欠点ね。どんなに死が見えていようともその線を引くのは指揮自身の腕じゃないといけない。True。いくら私が弱
眼球を潰すしかないね。I guess so. さっきから言いたい放題、物騒なことばっかり言いやがって。少しは遠慮してくれ。あ,あと近い。止まれ。みはあ<笑>ああ。I retreat sensing impending danger, but my threat falls on deaf ears. Arc with a can sometimes resemble a giant cat, one whose curiosity isn't easily sated. ねえ、それ、見せて。はいやだ。これは大事な。別に壊したりしないってば。ねえねえ、本当に見るだけだからいいでしょ ?A cat with a. A cat is fine too. Stop! I know that quote. Stop it. No. No. Why is she talking like that? I know that line, bro. You're sus. Alright, let's send them over. She's too cute. Also, I don't trust y'all to give me advice anymore. Arkwood doesn't look like she'll back down. Besides, if she gets any closer, there's a good chance we'll wind up wrestling for the glasses. I ab she'll absolutely win if it comes down to that. I pass my glasses to Arkwood. She. Purses her lips as she inspects the glasses from all angles. She pauses and looks up at me. Chiki, Kore wa anata ni watashita hito, kona machi ni iru no? I don't know. I've been here for seven years, but I didn't have to stop in one place. Yeah. That's right. 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 ブルーを相手じゃ引いた方が無難でしょうけどね。The blue, terrifying. アルクエド、お前先生じゃなくてそのメガネを作った人知ってるのか？ Please for the people in the back. I'll see me. 知ってるわ。現存する四人の魔法使いの一人だもの。そのメガネだってね、とんでもない一品なのよ。今の私の力じゃとてもじゃないと壊せないぐらい。Bitch, try to break them! You fucking lied to me! Nah, fuck this hole. These holes ain't loyal. Yes, you did. このメガネがないと正気じゃいられないって言ったのはそっち。Liar! 別にそんなことじゃないよ。なあ、fuck you! なんとなく、式が大切。嫌だったから。You got jealous? Huh? Let's try to gouge out my heart. The fuck? I really have no idea how vampires think. This girl is ready to destroy my own lifeline on a whim. いいから。二度変な考えは起こすなよ。先生との思い出も大事だけど、それ以上にこれがないとやっていけないんだ。四六時中線が見えてたら、頭頭頭がどうにか思想だし。ほう。死が見えてると思う。Well, no shit, Ar
cute. Margaret beams with an honest, unreserved smile. It really looks like she's a, a simple act of conversing is enough to make her happy. <sighs> oh, there's the moon. Hi, moon. Your daughter's a little shit. If you know, you know. The, ne the night drags on. Arcoid is seated on the bed. I'm on the sofa, aimlessly staring at the clock. It's just past 4 a.m. Only an hour or so to go until sunrise. <sighs> Nothing out of the ordinary has happened so far. Arcoid doesn't look a slightly bit nervous. The hotel is perfectly peaceful. I'm pretty nervous myself, but it's starting to lo look like I didn't need to be. It's night. I have a feeling that the night will pass uneventfully. Just like this. For the upteen time this night, Arkwood calls out to me. Bruh. More conversation topics? Okay, what is it? さっきからどれだけおしゃべりに付き合ってると思ってるんだ。6時間だ。何が疲れたか。That is hilarious. Our <laughs> Arkwood shoots me a dissatisfied pout. It's been like this all night. For whatever re for whatever reason, Arkwood just keeps talking to me. I told her if she's so weak, should she be getting some sleep instead, but... How do we end it up like this? <sighs> I really have no idea what's going through her mind. On top of that, I'm starting to get hungry. Now that I think about it, it's been nearly an entire day since I ate something. The last meal I had was yesterday's breakfast. せっかくホテルに泊まってるんだからルームサービスを使えばいいのにおおねんしんちょうかんがそがれるそういうお前の方こそ何か食べた好きだ独はいけすあいけすあいけすあいけすあいけすあいけすあいけすあいけすあいけ
How many people's blood do you think I drink? Uh, Awkward hops off the bed with a bounce and heads over to the window. Did I just walk into a horny scene? Uh, I don't think there's any H scenes in the remake. She smiles sweetly. She seems to be enjoying herself. She's clearly trying to get a rise out of me. Fine, I'll play this game. This strange woman has... Alright guys. I feel like this is... It doesn't matter which one, so... Uh, anyone wanna take a hit? I'm thinking... I'm thinking a hundred. I feel like all of these are wrong. I feel like this is a trick question. But I'm feeling number two. No H scenes in the remake? Cowards. I think they allude to an H scene in Arkwood's route, but they don't actually really like it. Like, write it. Uh, let's see here. I am think... You know what would be funny? Yeah, it, ten people would be funny, though. So, let's pick this. Is 10 too few? No, not even close. Then somewhere in the hundreds? Huh? In the thousands? Okay. Arkwa chuckles softly to herself. I'm not angry with her, but I'm starting to feel very frustrated. No Len dream, sad. Yeah. Huh? So it's the opposite way? I mean, she is not wrong in his way of thinking. That's what I think of vampires. I'm not angry, but I'm bad. Is Shiki, like, related to Shiro in the levels of stupid? Mm, an argument can be made. Alright, how's your the snowflake? How's I never killed a normal human either. Interesting. Such a weird thing to hear a vampire to say. But I still find myself asking the question. I guess. Ha. Arkwood uttered the words as she idly glances out the window. She pauses to gaze at the night sky in a drawn out moment of quiet. As I watch her, it feels like she's becoming less distant, a haze phantasm drifting away. I'm kind of interested to see how, how many points the next goal will have because you have to make it achievable. But also to take a guess how many points I have at the time. I'm about to make it as, as, uh, as high as I fucking can. Just for Buster. Just mothering those words provides an odd relief. Wait, what does it feel like to have a load have it taken off your shoulders? That's weird, right? Yep, it's definitely weird. Is something wrong? Chicken? No, honey, it's expression. 
Arku tilts her head in confusion. She really doesn't look like a vampire in the slightest. It's only natural for me to be relieved. How can I not be? It turned out that the person in front of me isn't anywhere near as evil as I feared. If what she says is true, then there is no need reason for me to be worried about Arqua spontaneously killing me. Can't wait for you to make the goal 50k and then no one will be able to reach it. <laughs> Look, man. There must be something wrong with me. The idea that Arqua doesn't count herself as a full-fledged vampire is what makes me happiest of all. I can't believe I'm so wrong about her this whole time. Just as I'm able to rock around Arquid, I'm struck by a sharp sense of pain and vertigo. Oh. My vision is blanketed about the, by a white haze. This isn't the same as my anemia. I'm still thinking too clearly for that. A strange cold chill accompanies my headache. What is it, Cheeky? Your forehead's all sweaty. Oops, uh, reading lines, I shouldn't. I wipe the back of my hand across my forehead as I reply. I And I meet with a far more wet and sticky sweat than I anticipated. This is weird. Judging by the sweat, you think I was in a sauna. As if urged by a pool of anxiety welling up in my chest, my eyes darted to the digital clock. It's 4.32 a.m., too early for the sun to be beating it back against the chilly night air. The clock itself still lists the current temperature outside as a cool 11 C. Idiot's guys to dating emotions. Yeah! <sighs> It's way too cold for me to start breaking a sweat like this. So then why? Why does this room feel like I'm standing outside a hot summer, on a hot summer day? Wow, Thanks for rubbing it in. Bro is spitting Backs. Oh no, it's getting hot. No cho choice but to take off our clothes. You son of a bitch. I was an idiot for even axing. She says 3000 degrees Celsius, so you could throw a vampire on the grill and they still will burn. No, this isn't the time to be thinking about that. The digital display still lists the temperature as 11 degrees. So either the clock is malfunctioning, or my body is. I search for the room for another thermometer. As I scan the room, my gaze becomes transfixed on the monitor display, a live feed of, a ho of the hotel lobby. It's on fucking fire! I can hardly believe my eyes. It's something you only see in the movie. Fire spreads to the lobby like a water spilling from a sink. Mixed in with thick black smokes, I see hud I see a humanoid silhouette. It gives me impression of a massive predator, a carnivore that eats those like it. Arquid remains silent. It's a if this is hostility I read in her expression. No, it's something more of contempt. Two of us must be entering very different thoughts as we stare at this monitor. A massive predator? You mean a Discord mod? Chill, bro. You didn't have to go for the jugular. It takes less than a minute for the lobby to entirely engulf by a sea of flames. The fire alarm doesn't ring. The digital thermometer still hasn't changed. My body is drenched in sweat and simply breathing the hot and dry air, but enough to parch my throat. There's no time to think. They're here. Those flames, corpses from before, have to come to the hotel. 
Shit. I make a run for the window to inspect the situation outside. The town looks the same as ever. The hotel is bathed in place, but nobody outside seems to have noticed a thing. I think you mean a YouTuber becoming a... Be wow, that's fucked up. There's no sign of aid rushing to the hotel, nor are any humans frantically trying to escape the fire. Arqua keeps her mouth firmly shut, unwilling to say a word. Time slips passes. The temperature feels like it's getting hotter by the second. My skin feels like it could burn any minute. I don't know why these things are like outside of our room. Nor do I have an idea what things are like on the floors below. All I know is that the awful, ominous feeling right gripping my chest, telling me that it's already too late. Arquid is still in silence. Is it because she's worried or frustrated? Her arms are crossed like she's hugging herself, or maybe she's trying to hold herself back? Thanks, Arquid. She says she wouldn't leave this room. She says she didn't have the power right now. Thanks, Arquid. PDF file discovery is always from the full month. Mostly carrot. True. In which case, what did I come here for? Alright. Do you. Do you. Do you. Alright, this seems very safe, dangerous. Very intense. Very intense. Okay, we did- we did save. We did canonically save. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check- let's check the flow chart. Vampire 101. I guess that's the dead end over there. I can't read it. That's a shame. Hmm. Fair enough. Okay, I feel like something intense is gonna happen. So, I'm gonna end it here for the sake of my throat, right? We, we're already, like, two hours in, I think. Almost three hours, and I appreciate everyone for showing up. Just note that tomorrow, around 1pm as well, the standard time, we will be playing some Honkai Star Rail. So, I'm hyped to continue the story on that front. Hopefully we can, um, beat it all in one stream. Yeah. Yeah, aw, see you later. She's cliffhanging us. Frick. Look, guys, I'm sorry. Saving for Archer. Let's go! Saving for the fake crossover. You see, I gave it to Temptations, not gonna lie. So I kind of gave out, like, 20 tickets, and I, I, I got two... I got two five stars, so I guess it's worth it, but I got none of the four stars that I wanted, so I'm dying eternally inside. Anyway, have a good time. I'm gonna go and drink some fucking tea. Bye! Boop!